hi guys today i am going to teach you how to find log table how to use log table sorry okay so let's see will i'll explain it with you some examples first example is here 372.4 into 4 1.250 we have to multiply it but as in log table we have to just add of log of this number plus log of this number after that we have to find anti log so first see how to do it so first of all see how much number is before the decimal this is decimal point you can see here okay before decimal there are three numbers one two three so we have to minus one that three number this is three number i return here three three minus one it is two so we have to write two here again same thing for the second number four one point two five zero we will eliminate zero and what is how much number is before decimal here four one two number two minus one one again we have to write it here okay now we'll use log table for finding log of this so three seven two four in log table first we have to find log of this three seven so and after that in table number two and we have to add fourth numbers uh, main difference so we'll see in the log table so here is the log book so this is anti anti logarithm so first we have to find log logarithm in log table so first in log table if you'll see 3 7 where is 3 7 3 7 is here and again uh, number is 3 7 2.4 so 3 7 and second point so this is 5 7 0 5 so then we have to see fourth main difference 4 is here and 4 it is how much it is 5 so 5 we have to add this we have to add this 5 number and this 5705 so we got 5708 is it correct yes definitely and see in second 41.25 so again we have to find first of all 41 then in second in this 2 then the 5 it means this Five. This here is you can see five. So let's see. Forty one. Where is forty one? Forty one is here. And the forty one second one. Second table forty one second. Here six one four nine. After that we have to see in main difference fifth one. Fifth one. It is in fifth one. It is given. In fifth one, if you'll see, it is given how much? Uh, five. So we have to add this five. Six in six one. 4, 9. So we'll get 6, 1, 5, 4. Okay. Then we have to just add this two number. Here what I've shown in addition. Addition is simple. Simple addition 4.1862. So now we have to find anti-log of this. What? 4.1862. So whenever you find anti-log, it is, uh, we have to find here after the decimal point. We have to find anti-log of after the given number or after the decimal uh, decimal point 1862 so see here 1862 so in 1862 what we have to done what, what we have to do first we see 1818 point you can see here point 1818 then 6 then 6 digit in 18 here is 51535 five. again mean mean difference we have to see number 2 so here how much in main difference it is given 1 so just we have to add in 18 6 18 well it is 6 and just we have to add 1 here so 1 5 3 6 it will become 1 5 3 6 first it is given 1 5 3 5 we'll add 1 and more 1 more in this so we'll get 1 5 3 6 so it's now become 0 0.15 three six just we have to write it after the decimal and into power 10 raised to power how this 10 raised to power 5 came just we have to see what number is written before the decimal it is 4 so just we have to add 1 it is now become 5 so just this is exponential power of 10 just put 10 raised to 5 this is compulsory okay 10 raised to 5 in while finding the log we had just subtracted and now we after the finding anti-log uh, 
at the ending of this one just we have to add one more so here it is one uh, well, it is four plus one five so ten raised to five now this is your sum so if you'll see the answer will become one five three six zero because in this is four digit number right guys so this four number will get before the decimal and again the one is remaining because because it is given 10 raised to 5 so now it become one zero one more zero will come here so the answer will be the one five three six zero thank you for watching log table video please subscribe my channel and click on bell button to get new updated videos and more and more stuff or some thank you